Good morning, boys and girls. Just following the ivy down to the place where we found the little people the other day. Underneath the jade plant, behind the rock. What do we see today? Hmm. It's a box. Box and it looks like, ooh, I don't want to disturb this, but it looks like this big box has some patterns on it. I don't know what they're doing here, but it definitely looks like they're being creative. Now, I'm saying they. Do you notice this? I see one, two pairs of flip-flops. And I see one, two orange juices. And I see one, two apples and I see one two cookies it looks to me like there are two people working on this project I'm not sure what the project is but it looks like friends are working on it together now sometimes it's fun to work by ourselves and do everything our own way, but sometimes it's fun to work with a friend. Let's go inside and read a book. I have just the book for today. So today I want to read to you from this book. It's called The Box Turtle, and it's written by Vanessa Roeder. And this was a gift to our class library by our friend Maxime. Thank you, Maxime. The last couple of days we've been talking about problems in stories and how those problems are fixed. Do you remember the special word for that? It's called the solution. So sometimes books have a really easy to understand problem and a solution that fixes it in the end. And sometimes a story has a bunch of little problems. This is one of those books that has more than one problem. So the first problem is easily fixed, but the next problem, we have to wait till the end of the story to find out what the solution is. The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days safe from the snoopiest strangers and on the scariest nights. It was big enough to share. Terence loved his shell until one day. Your shell is weird. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Terence searched high and low until his new shell looked sleek. but it showed too much cheek. The search continued. Ooh la la, he looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like Grandma Mildred. He looked for another shell. Oh yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. 
pop. That was positively petrifying. Terrence tried shell. Boom, 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 boom. After shell. Hey! After shell. Mm. After shell. Arr, arr. But nothing fit. This whole situation stunk a lot. That's it. I give up. Scuttle, scuttle. Here you go. Plop. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terence was too. Terence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell, oh no, it had changed. It's okay, we can fix it. Terence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. In the story, The Box Turtle, we have a little guy named Terrence and he's born without a shell, which is a very strange thing for a turtle. Is that the problem? Well, it is a problem, but it's got a very easy solution. His parents don't mind one little bit and they solve the problem on his first day with a box that they find. And Terrence is just fine with that box and it's not really much of a problem for him until some other bigger turtles make fun of him and he gets very sad. He wants to go find a different shell that makes him look more like them. I think the big problem in this story is that Terence doesn't want the shell that he was given. He wants to be like everybody else. And he realizes at the end with his with the help of his little friend Hermit Crab what kind of shell he really really needs. And guess what? What kind of shell is that? It's the one he had. The solution is to go back and just be okay with what he had. And you know, at the very end, we see a picture of him with two of his friends. One is the little crab. His shell is the bandage box. And Terrence has the fixed up box that his friends helped him with. And then the raccoon has that hat from earlier in the story, the Grandma Mildred hat, which is just kind of silly. I hope you enjoyed the box turtle by Vanessa Roeder.